Shumai for guy and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get back into playing Planet Zoo. And today the goal is to get to gold for Castle Myers. So I've done a little bit of work off camera to get the more boring bits out of the way. So that's what you're seeing in the background right now. I've researched the gondola ride and I attempted to build it, shall we say. <laughs> I'm not very good with the transport rides. I don't really like them. I don't think they're aesthetically pleasing. I thought if I practiced it, I could then delete it and then I could do it on camera. But apparently it doesn't go away like the achievement, the task list. Once you build it, it's done, which I didn't know, but I'm kind of happy I found that out because it'll save you a lot of money for your zoo if you want to complete that task and then just delete your ride afterwards. It still counts, so it's pretty good. <laughs> so I've done all of the last fun things. The other thing I've done is breed new Himalayan brown bears. The brown bears were taking too long to make new babies. <laughs> And I didn't have the time, um, all the patience for that. <laughs> to get more baby brown bears quicker, my first pair of brown bears had two female baby brown bears. And then when they grew up, I bought two male brown bears and made two extra habitats for each of the couples. So I have three habitats, three bear couples, and then they, all three of them eventually made six baby brown bears and the guests were just chaotic there was a huge crowd right at the entrance of the zoo and it was just impossible to get anywhere like they would come down the stairs go towards the first habitat, which the first habitat now isn't bongos. I've swapped the bongos for the wombats because the bongos are shy and the wombats are not. <laughs> but because everything's like so popular at the top of the mountain now, the guests were getting really crammed and stuck in by the entrance and they were getting more and more miserable and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so drastic measures, I shut the zoo. And it turns out the guests were unhappy because they were hot and the hotter they were getting the more thirsty they were getting so no matter how many like vending machines and counters stalls for the drinks and things the guests were not staying happy because they were getting too hot while they were walking around so a tip to make sure that your guests don't get too thirsty is to add coolers around your zoo. Don't keep it at zero degrees because then they'll get cold. I put mine at like 15. I'm talking in Celsius now. I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit. <laughs> I needed the happiness to be at 60%. And once all of the guests had come in, I think I started with like 80% happiness to start with. They were like really, really happy. And I was like, please stay like this. But the more that came in the less happier they were but I did get away with having it over 60% and I've tried to keep it that way as well by adding conservation boards around I tend to forget about those quite a lot and the new interactive education stations they're really fun but the coolers keeping the guests from getting too thirsty was like a really helpful thing so that is my tip for that one okay so as you can see Everything's done, <laughs> but the most exciting part is always adding new animals into the zoo. So what can we actually get? We can get aardvark. They're not exactly the most interesting animals. Formosan black bears, which I have enough conservation credits for. That might be cute. Could have some more bears and have like a little bear section here with the other two. Yeah, why not? Right, so let's get some Formosan black bears because I have loads of conservation credits and that can be our first animal to add into the zoo. But because we're getting quite close to finishing these habitats, uh, the scenario now, I was thinking 
that I would continue in the scenario for my sandbox speed build series. So for my sandbox speed build series, although like you're watching me build now, you're going to be like, are you sure you're a builder? Um, not while I'm talking. <laughs> I can't talk and build most of the time, like my brain just goes completely blank. But uh, yeah, I was thinking for the sandbox series, usually I have like an interesting map anyway, because I find the big flat squares to be boring. They're like not interesting <laughs> to look at. Uh, I don't really like the big flat squares. I love having like a scenario zoo so it can be like terraformed already so i can work around that that was what i did for my wetland zoo once i start the sandbox zoo uh i'm going to use this map but i'm going to use this map from where we started so not what i've kind of hastily placed down i'm going to start from what it looked like in the beginning of the scenario not from like what it looks like now and I'm going to, what's the word, renovate it? Is it a renovation? Yeah, kind of. Like, uh, I'm going with like a, a Sims theme, sort of. With The Sims, people like to renovate the EA builds from new packs and things. So that was the kind of vibe I was going for with this. So I'm going to renovate the... Castle, I'm gonna renovate Castle Myers uh, from like the start of the scenario, not from what I've ruined basically. But yeah, I want to build my own castle. I've got an idea, I want to make it Welsh, of course. Because uh, <laughs> usually I'll delete like all the buildings and then I do my own thing, but I kind of want the same vibe. So I've kept like the trees and the little town. I want the same vibe, but I want it also to be my thing Does that makes sense i want it to feel like it's my zoo not like a frontier zoo as much as some of these buildings are just beautiful and i felt bad deleting some things but i want it mine ah we got a little buried hello you're so cute let's have a look at you before we do oh I love this. Like every time I look at animals when they first go in, they're always like merged in together. They're so cute. So we got some bears in on this side as well. I wonder if there's any more bears I can add in and we can just have a whole bear section up here. Grizzly bears. Yes. That one's good. And that one's real fertile. We'll have all of the bears. So we've got Himalayan. Formosan and our grizzly. So I just sold some Himalayans to be able to afford new grizzlies. So we got some grizzly bears coming next. That's going to be a fun habitat. That's probably going to be similar to the Formosan though. We'll skip some of the building because I can build quicker when I'm not talking. My grizzlies are in. Yay. Welfare. Habitat. 2%. Temperature. And no hard shelter. Okay. So it's too hot? I'm assuming. Uh, do they want snow? Yeah. It's too hot then. Nice. Oh, I still want the guests to have a nice view. But like, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And so are the grizzly bears. 100%. The one thing I do need to do now though. Even though it doesn't really matter. Because everyone's like happy uh is research and i've got the first formosan done perfect and i should have grizzlies ready to go as well and we'll go for our five star i've got a couple of five stars now five star vets researching those because they should research faster i think they're just better when they're <laughs> fully trained uh but yeah Grizzly's done. So we've got a whole bear section here. I kind of want to move. I feel bad for these brown bears down here. They were the first ones. The celebrity brown bear. <laughs> the celebrity brown bear is down here. And I'm not sure how happy that one is. And whether it's still alive. Are you alive? 
Oh, you are very elderly. But you've had three babies. Nice. Do I have gems bark actually? Why do I feel like I've got gems bark? No. I've got bongos and I've got pronghorn antelope. I guess we're buying them all. And... Oh, 100% fertility. Hopefully we'll get another one in and they can be happier. Because they don't want men. They don't want male ones. <laughs> they don't want men. So I can only have one male one. Uh, so I need to keep an eye out for that. So let's have a look. I kind of like our base section. Uh, do I build them down here? And keep our base section just like our base section? Yeah. I know I've got more room back here, but like... Let's go for aesthetics. Oh, and now we can actually have a look in the daytime. That'll be nice. The gems look really, really pretty. Look. Hi. I love their colouring. They're very pretty animals. You're just so cute, aren't you? Now you're happy as well. I'm happy. <laughs> uh, yep, their welfare is pretty good. Their social group should be much better now. It's only four. Now they're happy. Uh, welfare. Oh, we got lots of timber wolf puppies. Oh, should we go look at them? They're gonna be so cute. Oh, look. Oh, oh look at all the puppies. Oh, puppies. Oh, I'm gonna cry. They're so cute. We got puppies. Oh. <laughs> so cute. It's gonna have to be American Bison. Check how many we need. 3 to 15. One male up to 14 females. Okay. American Bison it is. Uh, refresh list. One male. Who's our best male? You. And one two three uh is that it zoopedia how many did i need three to fifteen that's fine <gasps> stop no 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 i give up with the inbreeding <laughs> last habitat <laughs> i'm sort of assuming i'm gonna have to play around with this habitat a little bit more but once i add these in we should have gold should have gold <laughs> i've got it all added into the work zone as well i was gonna say that was quick no not them but yeah i've got this habitat down here i don't know whether they will actually be able to escape if they are i'll put like i'll sort out the barriers edit barrier pull you into here I'll change the barriers if they can't escape. I just thought like that was like a steep enough that they couldn't get past it. <laughs> I'm like nervous now because I think I'm almost done. Let me just finish. Where are the rest? Oh, hang on. Two more in there. Nancy, you don't even look happy, love. Cracking work. <laughs> oh no. It's great to see you haven't lost your touch. No, I haven't. I got better, in fact, of course. Guest satisfaction is, is at an all time high. Don't know about that. And the authentic habitats make the animals feel right at home. They'll be demanding armchairs and coffee tables next. Just wait and see. You'll be glad to know I managed to have a chat with Tiffany. The rich kid who caused that trouble with her Himalayan brown bear. She seems to really love animals, but clearly she doesn't know how to actually care for them. We do, Nance, we do. <laughs> I'm keeping my fingers crossed that she's open to learning. 
to get her permit updated she has to shadow one of our keepers to learn proper animal welfare anyway never mind that all that things are looking great but there's always more to be getting on with job job nancy kiss market expanded all species will start to become available in the animal market does that mean we get a new one hang on red dear no i really want the new animal <laughs> Uh, from the anniversary from last where last weekend uh, it's not available yet though that's a shame should we have like a quick overview of where everything is before we finish off uh, we'll start down here because that's where we did actually start in bronze and in bronze the first thing we had were foxes and we still have foxes in this area and then I added in raccoons and then skunks in this one and you can see a couple of those here and they look like they're fighting actually should we watch them fight 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 because <laughs> i no longer care about this uh, this so oh oh so vicious bad trash pandas so vicious <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, should I? Oops. Uh, yep, so that is them. And then we did add wombats in this habitat. And then I discovered when I added bongos up on the top of the mountain that they were shy. So I chucked them down here instead, instead of, of waiting for the one way glass. So we have bongos down here now. And we have a little baby bongo. Look. Oh, you're cute. Let me see you move. Look. Oh, look at the ears. Look way too big for their head. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, love that. So now we have bongos up here. And then what's the last thing we did for bronze? Ah, we added in the bears. I think that was the last thing. And then started researching them. We still have bears. And our celebrity bear, which I'm so sorry. What was her name? Tiffany? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Tiffany... Tiffany's bear, Kelly, is now an elderly bear, so I don't think Tiff's going to get back her bear. Poor millennial rich bitch. <laughs> but they've got three babies, so they did really well on the breeding. And we also added in bear, uh, the fruit bats, and the fruit bats are still in. The uh, walkthrough habitat, or exhibit, and they've got all of the enrichment items and stuff in here and then for silver i added some exhibits into the cave which we still have i thought that was like good vibes and this is like a snake cave there's three different snakes in here uh but i love the cave i don't think i'll actually change that when i do my sandbox thing i don't know I don't think I will. We also added some counters along the mountain. This is when it gets real chaotic for me at the moment because there's so many guests. So this is was the bongo habitat and is now the wombat habitat. There they are, little teddy bear. Oh, look at the little teethies. So there's the wombats. Uh, this used to be a bongo habitat, and but we moved the bongos down because they were getting too shy because this is like the busiest area in the zoo and we have pronghorn antelope in here is that what you're called yep pronghorn antelope and you're looking very cute and i love this habitat because i just used the ready-made decorations for this one for their hard shelter i think it looks really nice just keeping that there for them and the last thing we added in then were the timber wolves we haven't long seen the timber wolves and they have puppies now and what i did off camera then was add in the two bears they were the baby bears from the bottom habitat and i built them to their own individual habitats and bought them some boyfriends so they could continue to breed all the while researching 
And then today we've added in Formosan black bears, grizzly bears. Oh, and they've had babies. We've had a grizzly bear baby. Oh, wow. There we go. Grizzly bear baby. And other Formosans had a baby yet. I don't think I'd even be able to tell. Female. Oh no, actually, I can see them. Oh, little baby bears. That one's so cute. Actually, I need a screenshot. Oh, just look. <laughs> it's adorable. There's our gems bark, and lastly, the American bison. Which I haven't really looked at, so we'll watch them have a walk around. So that's the entire zoo. A very full zoo, if I might say so. We ended up with almost 5,000 guests, 1,600 conservation credits, and 718,000 cash. <laughs> So I think uh, this was a success. A lot of grinding in the background, but it's complete. <laughs> My tips for getting gold in Castle Myers have more than one habitat for the brown bears. What I did was allow the bears to breed once. I had two babies. I allowed both of them to grow up and then I bought a partner for both. So I ended up having three different habitats for the same brown bears. So it's three habitats, three pairs, so six different bears, so then they could breed quicker to get the six new Himalayan brown bears. Start mechanic researching for the gondola ride as quick as you can and once you've researched it you can build the 700 meters, something like that. You can build the ride to how long it needs to be but instead of keeping the ride there once you've got the task ticked off, delete the ride because it will be a drain on your funds. They never make money, the transport ride, so I would just delete it afterwards. There's a few things you can do to increase your education rating. Obviously for habitats, the screens and the speakers, make sure the speakers are big enough to cover the entire path so as guests are walking around they're walking through the sound of the speakers interactive education stations for your little guests and conservation boards dotted around to make sure the conservation board displays are different topics so don't have the same topic over and over again one of the biggest boosts for education are educators so make sure you've got a couple of educators in they don't necessarily have to be doing animal talks put some animal talks around for some of your habitats of course that would be a good thing you can even put some outside of exhibits now as well and they'll do animal talks for certain exhibit animals but the educators will boost education as they're walking around they'll chat with your guests and for the average guest happiness and having a certain amount of guests in your zoo I had the guests in my zoo very easily but my happiness was struggling because my guests were getting very stuck in certain areas it was a lot of crowding overcrowding by the entrance so I shut my zoo down I closed it I allowed all my guests to leave I then made sure that my cleaners had cleaned everything in the zoo and the guests were also really thirsty because it's quite a hot climate in this Transylvania zoo so I actually added in coolers around the pathways around the zoo as well at around 15 degrees C and then I opened the zoo up allowed the guests to come back in. They were a lot happier because they weren't stuck in certain areas and they weren't too hot. So I got my guest happiness up to 60%, which I really didn't think I was gonna do. But closing it and reopening it once I'd sorted out the zoo and made everything clean and not vandalized anymore was a big help. <laughs> So next week I'm going to be starting my sandbox zoo 
and I'm actually going to be renovating Castle Myers. Let me know in the comments what animals should I add into the zoo. Obviously all of the twilight ones. Maybe even the new red deer too? That might be interesting. And let me know what you think of this whole like, chaotic playthrough of Myers Castle, Castle Myers. Why am I still getting it wrong? If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. And if you haven't already and you would like to, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload speed builds on Wednesdays and shorts tutorials on Saturdays. And I'm also on TikTok. I do Planet Zoo tutorials on TikTok as well every other day if you want to follow me over there too. And I'm going to leave it off there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!